Okay, so what's up YouTube? I'm here to do uh, another vinyl collection um, thing. <laughs> um, today I'm going to show you guys my black metal collection. Um, I'm, this is going to be in different parts because I have pretty much a good amount of size of black metal albums. So I think it's going to be split in two, two parts. And yeah. So yeah, the, the vinyl we're blasting in the background is At The Gates of Eternal Spirit Disease. I fucking love this record. It's part of my third favorite at the gates record so I'm going to show you guys my vinyl collection this majority of this the first half is li liter literally literally um dark funeral because I've been collecting dark funeral non-stop and I'm still planning to collect more of their records so yeah I hope you guys enjoy this so yeah first record I'm going to show you guys it's all going to be in alphabetical order because I was like why the fuck not no. so yeah first one is uh Monasterius by Celtic Frost, and before anyone say anything, um, I consider Celtic Frost black metal. Reason is, um, they're one of the first ever black metal bands, in my opinion, next to like Venom. He's like one of the first pioneers. And um, yeah, so this is a repressing of this year, and I got the limited to 500 picture disc because I wanted to get the regular white version, but it's sold out. So I was like, fuck it, I'll, I'll get the white version. And it's still, it's the same limited thing, but you, I think you can still buy the picture disc. So, why? So yeah, it's on a double LP, 180 gram, and it sounds fucking amazing, to be honest. I'm not a huge fan of, like, the pictures they use for the picture disc, but, um, teach their own, I guess. But yeah, if you have not, check. Check this fucking album. This album fucking kicks so much ass. And I recommend picking up the repress be before it gets out of print. Because once it's out of print, it's going to be fucking overpriced. I know that for a fact. Because I heard the original pressing of this is just fucking uh, ridiculous of how much it goes for. Let's move this here. Uh, okay, this one's going to be controversial. When I mean controversial, I mean some people will agree with me. Some people would won't agree with me for me these guys are black metal i really they're like more symphonic black metal but people like to call them goth metal gothic extreme fucking metal some fucking stupid name like that but i always consider them black metal even the first time i listened to them and this is cradle of filth this is my favorite cradle of filth record this is godspeed on the devil's thunder first ever i consider it my first ever black metal record i listened to and this is the band Cradle of fucking filth, holy shit. Before anybody tries to kill me, like, I'm, I'm just speaking out on that. Some people could agree with me, some people could disagree with me. I consider them black metal. And it's just plain black. Um, probably my first ever black metal album I picked up on vinyl. This is up really cheap on Amazon for like $13. For me, it was a fucking win because this record is my. The one that introduced me to the band, and it's the, um, it's one of my favorite fucking black metal records, and my first ever black metal record, so, hey, like, I'm just saying, I consider them black metal, if you don't, then that's you, but I, I consider them, here's their first album, I have, like, only three records of them. On vinyl. Uh, this is uh, Cradle Fields, the principle, the principle of evil made flesh. I fucking love this record. In my opinion, this is like their most true sounding black metal. This is their first record, and it, this fucking kicks ass. I think this is a 2014 reissue. Yeah, 2014 reissue, and it was supposed to be on a blue and white squirrel color, but in reality, I got kind of really disappointed because in reality. Yeah, there's the fucking swirl, and here's the back. So, yeah. I think it's limited to a thousand copies. Um, but I'm just happy they, they reissued this, to be honest. It's just pretty cool. And, um, I found an FYE that was selling the exact same one I have, but for fucking $30, even though in reality it only goes for like $20. And I think the second disc has the much nicer, I guess. Like, there's a fucking metal, and then the back is only like, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
I enjoyed this record. Um, this was, like I said, this is her first album, and this is what during the time when I guess people did re like the black metal community respected them because they were they were just still there, and then once they became big and too mainstream for true true black metal heads, they um, fucking disowned them and shit. So yeah, but fuck it, I enjoyed this fucking record. I enjoyed Cradle Filth. I do enjoy their music a lot, so yeah. Hate me. And I have this is my last Cradle Filth record. This one I got for Christmas. This is V Empire. V Empire. I fucking love that to be honest. But back. It's like I think it's EP. I think this is an EP if I've read it. It's like an EP or like a mini album. Fuck. But yeah. Got it for Christmas, and I love the sweater on this one. I think it's also limited to a thousand, but this this is pretty cool. <laughs> but yeah, um, Crow felt a band I enjoy, a band I still enjoy, even though it's been years. But yeah. Okay, so this is the part of the video that's basically all Dark Fedor and one more Black Metal band. So, yeah. Um, so, first one I'm going to show you guys is probably my favorite Dark Fedor album. Some people say they changed from this record and shit like that. But, I, for me, Dark Fedor kind of always sounds the same in each record. But, it's always great fucking music. And, I like, Dark Fedor is one of the newest Black Metal bands I got into. And one of the ones I got truly into. Like, I fucking love their records. So this is my favorite rap album. This is um, Angulus Extra Internus. I'm sorry if I mispronounce that. I can't fucking read that shit. <laughs> like, god fucking damn it. Their album names are kind of weird sometimes. But yeah, this record I love. Um, I think this is a 2013 reissue. I got the plain black, and I think this is my first ever Dark Funeral record I ever picked up. And it sounds fucking great. I fucking love this record. Um, if you have not checked out, check this out. Check the check check this out. This record fucking kicks ass in my fucking opinion. I really don't care what anybody says, but this record fucking awesome. Fucking love it. My favorite, like I said, it's my favorite Dark Funeral record. And then we go to my first ever back on black vinyl I ever bought. This is um Dark Funerals. Ultra, what is it, fucking, Ultra Terrorus Sucanus San, Santos, Ultra Terrorus, <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm butchering these fucking names, like, their album fucking names are just fucking weird, but I fucking love the gay thing because it, it opens up like a fucking book, when I mean that I mean like this, I already know about gay folks. <laughs> But yeah, and this is the only, I think, oh, this second record I have them on color, it's just plain blue. This copy of the record isn't my favorite, really, like, what is it, Back on Black Records are not the best, that's what I heard, and I kind of do agree with them when certain amount of records, like, this record is kind of the weirdest, because, um... The instrument sounds so loud that sometimes you can't really hear the vocals, so it was really fucking weird. But uh, I've lasted to time to time. But I'm planning to get like one of the Century Media's reissue because um, like it's so you this this pressing is just fucking weird, in my opinion. That was my first experience with Back on Black. Then I bought a second record and from Back on Black, and it it sounds fucking great in my opinion. One I got for Christmas, which was kind of weird to get on Christmas. This is um, Dark Funerals. Basically, first EP in the sign, which I fucking love this EP. Um, fucking kicks ass. Got this off on eBay. And I got the plain black version, which fucking... Like, <laughs> I have so many black albums of them on black. But this record fucking kicks so much ass, in my opinion. I fucking enjoy it. Oh no way, I have two, no, I have three Dark Funerals records on color. I think you have three in colors and fucking three in, um, in fucking black. Oh yeah, Dark Funeral. This out, this EP, definitely check it out. This EP fucking kicks so much fucking ass in my fucking opinion. 
such a great fucking EP. One of like um the best black metal EPs I ever listened to. And this one is a uh, this year's reissue, which I am extremely fucking happy to own. And I'm happy I have this. This is Dark Funeral's first album. This is um, The Secrets of the Black Arts. And this album fucking kicks so much ass. I fucking love it. This is a great fucking wrecker. And I got the limited to 300 copies on white vinyl. Uh, it's kind of weird to be honest to get it on white vinyl, but um, especially for the record, Secrets of the Black Arts. But it's such, it's just pretty fucking cool. And I'm like, like I said in my past videos, I'm a sucker for color vinyls. Like I could have got the regular black version, but I had to get the color version. I'm always a color sucker vinyl. But this this comes with basically with, let, let's see, right here it says it comes with the original, um, comes with the remastered version of the album. And it also includes an extra LP with the original album mix from Dan Swanio, something like that. Swanio. Sorry if I mispronounced it. I can't fucking read shit like that. But this is fucking awesome. Definitely, definitely, definitely check that out. That fucking first album is great. And so far for me, album of the year is the newest Dark Funeral album. This is Where Shadows Forever Reign. And the first time I unboxed this, I said the name wrong because that looked like a fucking beat for me. Oh, fuck you, random dude. But, um, yeah, this is Dark Fucking Funeral's new album that came out this year. And, oh my fucking god, for me, this is album of the year so far. And then second goes to, uh, Fall of, The Fall of Troy is, uh, okay. It's fucking gateful. And I got the limited to 200 copies, US exclusive, red. Clear red. I'm not the biggest fan of clear red, but like I said, I'm a sucker for color vinyl. I was gonna originally get the splatter version that was like limited to 600 copies or worldwide, but it sold out before I could even order it, so I ordered the red one because, like I said, I'm a sucker for color vinyls. And when I posted it on like I guess an extreme metal website, um, some asshole was just like talking shit about it because he was like, "Oh, I don't like the color. It, it doesn't fit the album cover." And I do agree with you. It does not fit the album cover. It definitely does not. But fuck, dude, it's my fucking money. I could buy it any version I want. And he was just saying, "Oh, like you're most likely a poser and shit." Like that. I'm like, dude, just shut up, dude. Just because I like color vinyls. Suck your retarded hoe. How some people are just elitist assholes, to be honest. Stupid shit like that. Fuck it, it's my fucking money. Okay, so enough of me bitching. Um, the last record I'm going to show you is probably one of my favorite black metal records of all fucking time. Um, that's basically all the Dark Funerals I have. And this one is from a legendary one that I fucking love. I don't care what anybody says about this record. This record fucking kicks ass in my fucking opinion. And it's respected and it's a legendary black metal album. And this is my favorite Dark Throne album, this is A Blaze in the Northern Sky, I think this is their first fucking album, I'm pretty fucking sure, I'm pretty sure, please don't fucking kill me, <laughs> but this record, oh my fucking god, is fucking amazing, um, this, this is a record that basically got me into, um, Dark Throne, even though, um, I think it's Soulless, Soulless Journey, fuck, it's, it's like, they're more death metal, technical death metal album it was like the first Dark Throne album I listened to many years ago. But this is the album that got me way into them. Like this is the album that I'm like, holy shit, I got to check these guys out. And oh my fucking god, you! If you guys are like subscribed to my channel, you already see me with the shirt. Like majority of the times of the shirt of this album cover because, like I said, it's my favorite fucking Dark um, Dark Throne album. And I got the plain black one, but I don't really fucking care. I'm planning to get um my second favorite album from them, which is um Transylvania Hunger, which fucking kicks ass. Another fucking great black metal record. This is so far the only Dark um Dark Throne album I have. I'm I'm debating on getting their new album because I don't know. I really haven't listened to any of their like their newer stuff. I mostly listen to like their earlier stuff, so. That's just me. I, I think I should give them a try for the newer stuff. I think I listened to one song for the newer stuff, and then I heard random clean vocals, and I was just like, this is Dark Throne. Like, it just felt weird, in my opinion, the first time I listened to it. But, I don't know. Maybe I'll give it a try. But this fucking record, 
If you have not, out of all the records I told you, next to the Dark Funerals, listen to this fucking record. This record is fucking godlike, in my opinion. It is one of the greatest black metal records of all fucking time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this um little collection thing. I'm going to do um, part two, and part two... It's going to be, again, another controversial one because I have another black metal band that people are like, oh, it's not really black metal. I do somewhat consider them black metal, but I'll, I'll wait until next time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and maybe I'll do it tomorrow. Maybe. I have to see what time I get at work. So I hope you guys enjoy this, and stay fucking metal, guys. Keep on fucking rocking.